All right, now some of you guys want to know whether Samsung has made any improvements in terms of battery performance on the One UI 7.0 based on Android 15. Have they added any new features to the battery settings? Is there any enhancements or any additional features for improving the longevity of the battery? So I thought I'll make a quick video and show you guys what has really changed on One UI 7 with respect to the battery settings on the Samsung Galaxy phones. Now before we go ahead, if you are here for the first time, do hit that subscribe button and like button. I would really appreciate that you get to learn a lot on the channel so go ahead subscribe and become a part of apex community and every video i post will have a brand new wallpaper if you're interested in this specific wallpaper you are seeing here on the home screen the link is in the description go ahead download it you can check out all my previous videos also to get some new wallpapers now let's go ahead now the first thing I would like to tell you guys is that the battery performance on One UI 7 so far has been good. This is the second beta in the West and first beta here in India on my device. And this is the official beta I'm talking about. Uh, the battery performance is pretty good. The screen on time is somewhere around uh, 7 plus hours on a moderate usage. And if I watch or uh, if I consume a lot of media, then I can extend it up to 8 to 8 and a half hours. And if I play a lot of games and extensively use it, the battery performance is somewhere around 6 hours which is more or less same as before uh, on the One UI 6.1, we used to get similar results. And here on One UI 7 also, I would say it's almost the same results that I am getting. But yeah, this is the beta version. So this is not the right time to test the battery. So I will share the battery test results once we have the stable version in the month of January. So stay tuned for that video. Now, let me go to the settings here. Let me show you some changes which Samsung has made on the battery settings on One UI 7. Now here, let me tap on power saving mode. Now this menu on power saving mode looks more or less the same as One UI 6.1's power saving uh, settings, but Samsung has added one very important option which may not improve the battery on power saving mode, but it will enable us to get the 120Hz refresh rate even on the power saving mode. That sounds pretty cool, isn't it? Set motion smoothness to standard. This is a brand new toggle that we have got. When disabled, the motion smoothness will be on 120Hz. Let me enable the power saving mode here and let me go to the settings again and uh, enable the refresh rate uh, indication on the top. We got this under developer options. Let me uh, tap on show refresh rate. I'll enable this. Now you can see the phone is on power saving mode, but the refresh rate is 120 Hertz adaptive. So we will be able to get that higher refresh rate experience on the display despite enabling the power saving mode on the phone. Let me go to the settings again. Let's go to battery, tap on power saving again. Now what I'll do is I will enable motion smoothness to standard. You see now it is at 60 Hertz and when I disable it, it is at 120 Hertz. So we can turn on the power saving mode and still get the 120 Hertz refresh rate on the display, which is just amazing. As you can see, uh, we have got 120 Hertz display on power saving mode. Now here is something important you need to know when we limit CPU speed to 70%, the motion smoothness will go to standard, which means we can't get 120 Hertz refresh rate while the limit CPU speed to 70% is turned on. Let me show you that. Let me just turn this on. Let's say I want to uh, save some battery by limiting the CPU speed, then the standards motion smoothness will also be enabled. It automatically gets enabled here, which means we can set the CPU limit speed to 70% and that makes sure the motion smoothness is also at standard. And if I try to disable this, it says I have to turn off the limit CPU speed to 70%. So let me tap on turn off. So now you've got 120 Hertz refresh rate and CPU speed is not limited to 70%. It has been disabled. So for the phone to run at 120 Hertz display, the CPU should run in full speed. It cannot be limited to 70%. So that is a bummer here. I wish Samsung had offered this option. Maybe it's technically not possible or I'm not very sure. We should be able to limit the CPU speed to 70% and still be able to use the 120 Hertz display, which will be perfect. So that is something to note here. Now, apart from this, Samsung has also improved the battery protection feature. Now, enabling battery protection toggle here will adjust the charging behavior to extend the lifespan of your battery. Let me enable this and I'll tap on uh, this option. We've got basic, adaptive and maximum. When we select basic, your battery is charged to 100%. 
charging will stop until the battery level drops down to 95% and then charging will start again. And in the case of adaptive, the charging itself will stop at 80% while you are asleep and uh, switch to basic before you wake up, which means it will switch to this uh, option basic before you wake up. And here it says sleep time is estimated based on your uh, phone's usage patterns. So based on your usage patterns, it will ascertain your uh, wake up time and it will switch back to the basic which means you will get 95% charge while you wake up. But during the night, it will only charge up to 80%, which is amazing. So that is adaptive. Then we have got maximum. Your battery will stop charging when it reaches 80% and it doesn't charge at all. It will remain at 80%. If it drops down, it will again probably charge it to 80%, which will increase the battery lifespan drastically as per Samsung. So these options were already there, but now on One UI 7, when I tap on maximum, we now get 80%, 85%, 90% and 95%. Your battery will stop charging when it reaches 80% or you can set it to 85%, 90% and 95%. This is a very important option which a lot of us have been requesting Samsung to uh, add and now we have got this option. Just in case if you want 90% of your uh, battery to be charged when you unplug it from the charger, then you can set it. If you want it 85%, 80%. So setting 80% will increase the battery lifespan. But this 80% may not be sufficient for you to run the phone the entire day. You may need 90% or 95% or 85%. Depending on your requirement, you can select these options. So this is another big change Samsung has made with respect to the battery protection. And we have got this cool change under power saving option. Apart from that, Samsung did not add any other uh, features here and uh, in terms of the system battery performance uh, I will be able to uh, tell you guys or share the screen on time only once we have the stable release so stay tuned for that video I will keep you guys posted that's about it that's all I wanted to share with you guys I hope you have already subscribed to the channel if you haven't done it already go ahead do that I would really appreciate that give this video a like if you find this video informative thanks for watching my name is Salyan signing off cheers bye bye